team from Pacification. Nathalie Pombrun. Nathalie Pombrun. Benoît Magimel. Benoît Magimel. Albert Serra. Albert Serra. Et Paoua Mahagafano. Maaga On va mettre les micros pour que vous puissiez bien parler à niveau. Voilà. Et We're going to position the microphones properly, and I have a first question for Albert Serra. Is Pacification a film about being abandoned on an island, solitary characters? Is this a, a great film about uh, feeling abandoned? Yes, the character is between two worlds. We have the High Commissioner, he's like a kind of a... Prefect, uh, police prefect, and uh, they experience a kind of an invisible conflict without knowing where it really comes from. He has contacts uh, with uh, his superiors and also with uh, the people. So he's somewhere in the middle. He has a lot of power. He has to take decisions <laughs> on this uh, island. Yet we never really know how the people feel, whether they truly feel abandoned. I think we'll take the questions. Hello. Congratulations. This is web uh, Paris Barcelona, uh, Trilangue, Catalan, Espanol, Francais. Albert, I'm going to ask my question in French. The reactions on the part of French critics are very good. The film is in French, after all. On peut considérer comme les cinéastes non français. Are you the most French, non-French director? Can we view you as such? The title of the film changed several times. It started out uh, being called Bora Bora, then Pacification. Uh, you talk about French authority, French power in the film. When you were shooting the film, did you feel there were other powers very present in the Pacific? Because a lot of people are now talking about China in this context. Well, it's a bit by chance that I do my films in French. I go where people want to adopt me, where they love me. Uh, it's quite an easy choice because lots of people love me and welcome me. For this kind of art house film, there's perhaps a stronger tradition in France uh, where people are more accustomed to this kind of a film. As to your second question, the title. The title changed, that's perfectly normal. It's a fiction. Pacification. In the film, there's a very artificial side, which, side, which is very pronounced. He himself, as a politician, has an improbable uh, look about him. The film is a fantasy with certain very real details. I think this viewpoint is quite interesting, particularly as we touch on very uh, uh, current events. But it's a fantasy where everything is possible, yet at the same time you believe in it. That's characteristic of my style as a director. Things are very organic. Things are very unforeseeable. I try to avoid uh, cliches in my films. So as I said, it's very organic. Any other questions? Good morning. My name is Omar Fernini, and I write for Italian website, ODG Magazine. First of all, congratulations, Albert. I really loved your movie. And um, my question is about the casting of Benoit. Was he the first choice for the role? And uh, Benoit, how was working with Albert? Why did you choose, uh, did you accept this role? Thank you so much. 
Well, we met uh, three years ago, I think, or something like that here. We just uh, say hello in the, in the dinner, and uh, déjeuner, and uh, lunch. And, OK, I like it very much in one film that made a friend, uh, Rebecca Zlotowski Friend uh, film. And uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. I thought that for the character, he has some kind of ambiguity already in the face, some kind of a little bit disturbing <laughs> you know, face, somehow, and that it worked with the character uh, already. And you know, there is something that it's going to guarantee. <laughs> that it's his presence. And I work a lot with uh, some uh, dramaturgy of uh, a presence, you know, a presence that is there in this film, even if it's more narrative and it touch uh, a lot of uh, subjects here and there, and there is a lot of movements. But uh, still, you know, it's a dramaturgy of the presence of somebody in the center of the film, and this creates a lot of reverberations. And I think that his performance, especially in this case, is very complex and very subtle and very, you know, it's really, really giving uh, a lot of things in uh, di different directions, you know. Sometimes you do, ah, he's a nice guy. Then you think, ah, oh, he's manipulating people. Then you don't know what kind of relation has with the, the, the others. Then, I don't know, it looked like at the end it's a little bit paranoid, but at the end even psychopath. So you don't know exactly. Uh, it's never stable. But, uh, you know, I think that this is, well, this is possible in cinema, you know. TV series are more conventional and more, you know, didactic or whatever. And, but here you can really expand things in different ways. Oui, euh, on s'est rencontrés effectivement très, well, très rapidement euh, oui, au déjeuner et on l'a yeah, présenté. Je met over de lunch. Et, et euh, quand il m'a proposé ce film, bah, c'était une évidence. Et quand il m'a proposé ce film, c'était une évidence. Et quand il m'a proposé ce film, c'était une évidence. Et quand il m'a proposé ce film, c'était une évidence. Et quand il m'a proposé ce film, c'était une évidence. Et quand il m'a proposé ce film, c'était une évidence. Et quand il m'a proposé ce film, c'était une évidence. Et quand il m'a proposé ce film, c'était une évidence. Et quand il m'a proposé ce film, c'était une évidence. Et quand il m'a proposé ce film, c'était une évidence. S'essayer à d'autres d'autres univers, de moyens de fabriquer des films. J'ai beaucoup aimé ce film. Et je me suis senti extrêmement à l'aise avec lui dès le début. Il m'a dit :« Tu ne t'inquiètes pas. » Je lui ai dit :« Je ne suis pas inquiet. » Il m'a dit :« Ne t'inquiète pas. » Et je lui ai dit :« Je ne suis pas dans le moins inquiet. » Voilà. Donc, vous savez, c'est très simple en fait. Donc, c'était très simple. À la base. Voilà. Une question. Je m'appelle Conchita Cachanovas de Radio Nacional de España. Je viens de Barcelone. I come from Barcelona and I'd like to ask a question. Congratulations, first of all, on the film. I'd like to ask Benoit the following. We're familiar with your career. In Pacification, it's a very special film. Is it a unique film for you? Les méthodes de travail d'Albert sont complètement différentes de ce que. Albert's way of working is very different from what I'm accustomed to with other directors. There's total freedom, an incredible freedom. I, I like saying this. He puts us in a given situation with the actors, and he said to me, "Well, just come on the screen whenever you want." I have time to eat something, uh, have a drink, and I just uh, appear on the set whenever I want. It's quite extraordinary. You're totally at ease, and everything is very simple. And it's quite extraordinary. You're totally at ease, and everything is very simple. We didn't talk much about the character per se, but we did talk about the character per se. We did talk much about the character per se. We did talk much about the character per se. We did talk much about the character per se. We did talk much about the character per se. We did talk much about the character per se. We did talk much about the character per se. We did talk much about the character per se. We did talk much about the character per se. We did talk much about the character per se. We did talk much about the character per se. We did talk much about the character per se. We did talk much about the character per se. We did talk much about the character per se. We did talk much about the character per se. We did talk much about the character per se. We did talk much about the character per se. We did talk much about the character per se. We did talk much about the character per se. We did talk much about the character per se. We did talk much about the character per se. We did talk much about the character per se. We did talk much about the character per se. We did talk much about the character per se. We did talk much about the character per se. We did talk much about the character per se. We did talk much about the character per se. We did talk much about the character per se. We did talk much about the character per se. We did talk much about the character per se. We did talk much about the character per se. We did talk much about the character per se. We did talk much about the character per se. We did talk much about the character per se. We did talk much about the character per se. We did talk much about the character per se. We did talk much about the character per se. Sometimes in the uh, cinema, there's so much machinery that there's not much room left for the actors. Here's the opposite. Of course, I use several different cameras, uh, and I'm very intuitive. Uh, what I want to focus on is the inspiration of the actors. That's what's important for me. Then I organize the take, and I try to support the actors as much as I can. But they're the ones who are doing the directing, really. They're the ones who appear on the screen. Well, that's great. And every day it was really very pleasant to be working with them. There were no unpleasant situations. So we were incredibly at ease, and we felt we could do anything we liked. We could move in whichever direction we wanted. And we would be fully understood. So it's fantastic to have this kind of experience. 
Il y a une autre question par là. I think we have another question. Cadenas Radio. Bonjour. C'est une question pour Albert Serra. I have a question for Albert Serra. In the film, Benoit's character says that politics is like a discotheque. Is that what you believe about politics? And also, you talk about colonization and decolonization. Why are you interested in this topic? Bon, c'est le sujet que je le disais avant. Non, cette petite écart entre les hommes politiques, qu'on voit que c'est de plus en plus to see how politicians behave and act particularly in the upper spheres of politics. Look at populism, which is a rising trend. These are all current events I'm interested in. I'm not trying to find a specific solution. But you do feel rather ill at ease, and this uh, feeling of being ill at ease is growing in society because of uh, politics and politicians. I don't have any preconceived ideas about the situation, but I just uh, do observe uh, this phenomenon here and there. Of course, pacification is fairly improbable. We have this uh, politician who's the main character. Normally, uh, he should uh, be in his office, but uh, I did want to address all these topics, but uh, in a way where people wouldn't start to feel bored. And I think this kind of combination of all different things uh, makes the film quite original. Politicians act the same way uh, around the world at all different levels, be it uh, at the level of being a mayor or on an island or in the upper spheres of politics, and they all act the same. That's what's so amusing. Politicians, I think, have become so cynical now most of the time. He's just a normal character. That's not something you see often. He is a politician who says spontaneous things. He's not always politically correct, but he's real. He's not a kind of robot who never says things uh, which are surprising or not politically correct. Uh, when you talk with a politician now, you think you're talking with a robot. He's a real person, not a robot in any way. He's a real person. Being a civil uh, servant, the um, High Commissioner in Tahiti is, is a really important person. I've often met people who weren't actors on the island, and they looked uh, at me askance when I said I was the uh, High Commissioner. They really looked at me askance. And you immediately knew whether they were friends or enemies. Okay, I've met high commissioners, but I promise you they're not really necessarily like that. The film is pure fiction. Directors can create fiction out of just about anything, even things which are hard to believe or impossible. Bonjour, ici Margarita, Catalunya Radio. C'est bizarre de parler avec vous en français, Albert. It's odd to hear you speaking French, Albert. Ma question est not in Catalan. I have a question about the funny scenes in the film and the love scenes. Projection, le public a ri. On several occasions, the audience laughed at the funny scenes. Was that your intention? Did you want people to think and also to laugh when watching your film? Yeah, young people are often embarrassed to laugh in certain circumstances, but I think there are lots of comic things in the film. That's part of the fiction. It's a bit of a farce. People don't take themselves seriously. Even as a director, you shouldn't take yourself seriously all the time, but every so often you need to. So there is this... Uh, lack of regularity, the atmosphere changes in the film. There are different viewpoints in the film. Uh, the film is ambiguous, and that makes it very modern. 
Moi, je suis obsédé pour créer des atmosphères. I love creating atmospheres, atmospheres in the different scenes, atmospheres which are unique, which are not common. I wanted to avoid clichés at all costs. I didn't want to, to just deliver a message or make things too explicit. It's a bit risky. But uh, that's where I, I make my films this way. It's a political film, granted. But Benoit's character seems very kind, full of empathy and love. And you have Paua Magafanu, who plays a lovely part too. What was it like working with Benoit and Albert? How did you view your character? who truly represents kindness while being powerful, you're so kind, but in a very nuanced way. It's not a cynical film, therefore. Well, it was wonderful uh, acting with Benoit and Albert because you don't have to learn any lines, everything is improvised. We got along extremely well, Benoit and I. Things worked very well. That's probably why the scenes are so realistic. And there are really funny scenes. It's a very light, sunny film. And, uh, it was easy to do. Yes, everything was very natural. And Benoit, what about you? What you see on the screen is everyone's real personality. Everyone was who he or she was. Our discussions were very simple and warm. With uh, Matai, it was different. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about that too. I learned a lot working with them. I tried to fully understand the situation on the island. There is what I would call a Polynesian tragedy, in fact. This touched me a great deal. I can understand that uh, they're not very positive in their thinking about the Western world. We held very political discussions with Matai, and I understood his viewpoint. As time went by on the island, I heard more and more uh, uh, people talking uh, in this vein, and I gradually came to understand it. Yes, it's uh, uh, given reality in a fantasy world. He talked about politics and the character portrayed by Matai and others. You represent the Polynesian people who has really something to say and who wants to put an end to certain things. So you have this very sunny side to the film, yet you feel it's absolutely necessary to act. How did you work on this? Your character is a very strong one. He's young and he doesn't hesitate to really raise his voice because it's time action was taken. I uh, portray the kind of person I'd like to see in my country. That's a good way of going about things. In my country, we're very observant. The problem is we are passive. We tend just to be spectators. We never revolt or organize an uprising. We take little interest in politics. So basically, I played the part of someone who would be more engaged, more involved in politics and what's happening in the country. And that's the kind of situation I'd like to see in my country. My position in the film, in terms of the nuclear tests, well, the position you see in the film is not necessarily mine. However, I had to bang my hand on the table. You have to act. Yes, I wanted people to react more in Tahiti 
la mer, etc., qu'on se laisse vivre. La nature, la mer sont so bountiful that oui, people uh, de Benoît. have a very relaxed, passive attitude towards life. Avec, uh, Benoît and uh, Albert. <coughs> I'm very grateful to them because they didn't come with any preconceived ideas. They came with a lot of love, and that really moved me. I thank them very much. This story is only possible because you have people like that. It's only people like that who can come and act in this manner. C'est ce qu'on vit nous au quotidien, cette espèce de mort vivante. Et je trouve que c'est très bien filmé. Je I think the film has been extremely well shot. The atmosphere voilà. is perfect. C'est juste. Dire, It's absolutely mm -hmm. accurate. On sent, en tout cas, dans le film, on sent que in the film, et Albert, par son image de cinéaste, et Benoît sont arrivés en disant « Albert et Benoît ». C'est ça. Ils étaient vraiment heureux really d'entendre ce que vous avez à dire. Oui, et ça transpire dans le film, sans se tourner en un reportage. Enquête exclusive ou je sais plus. Or some kind of exclusive inquiry. Je trouve que le temps est juste. They they found just the right tone for talking about the situation on the island. Congratulations on your film. I wanted to ask you about when you shoot this magnificent scene. Oui, c'était un hasard, un était là. It was just by chance. C'était l'un des vagues les plus grandes. There was this huge wave, the biggest uh, in three years, I think, or in ten years. Et on était là. And we were there. Parce que si elle aurait eu le championnat normal, on aurait pas pu. Had there been normal championships, it would have been possible because there would have been too many boats. But uh, there was a total lockdown at the time, and the championships were cancelled. But some people had still remained on the spot. Local people and people who'd already bought their tickets. The conditions were ideal for us. There was a lot of atmosphere, yet at the same time, this was manageable. It was just a pure luck. On profite de ces connards, on ne s'inquiète pas pour ces connards. We made the film with what was there. This huge wave arrives on the beach. When people come to Tahiti with this kind of viewpoint, uh, well, that's when such huge waves arrive. It's nature responding. It depends on your viewpoint. You know, we lost one of the recordings. It was very sad. We lost some of the shots. And we'll never know what really happened because things were fairly chaotic. De, de Look films, at the la fin du images Alors, in my uh, film before the end of the shooting. Uh, so I don't know what there was in those uh, particular cartridges. Uh, we'll probably never know. Albert usually uh, walks on, on the set uh, with his headphones on and he never looks at what we're doing. It's, it's not bad. The landscapes are filmed in a special way as well. Sound plays an important part. It's a film full of vibrations. I'm sure, Benoit, you felt the vibrations of the sound as well when you were acting your character. Albert sort of amplified the character and filmed you in a special way. He filmed the natural beauty in Tahiti but also all this pollution. It's a very uh, topical uh, question. Could you talk about that as well, this idea of having so much trash in the middle of uh, a paradise on Earth? This wasn't contrived in any way. I didn't say, well, I want to show the trash in this idyllic setting. Things happen just naturally and spontaneously. I just wanted to depict the elements that were there and not things that weren't there. I don't uh, make a film in a premeditated fashion. 
Et là, dans la vie, et là, dans notre contemporanité, so, je pense uh, que... Bon, you have these kind of images in contemporary life today. Even in Cannes, a little bit... Uh, <laughs> Il a aussi une part comme ça, effectivement. Oui. Yes, he has a, a shady side to him as well. Dans les films, là, les Anglais disent qu'ils tournent un cercle, non Et puis, c'est une spirale, notre cercle. You can see this circle, this sort of downward spiral in the film. I don't know. C'est ça qui est riche, peut-être. Que tout, beaucoup d'éléments sont mélangés. That's what flashes out the, the film. On a une question, je crois. Voilà. It's uh, Manu Yanez from Spain for Photogrammas. Um, I'd like to ask you about uh, your feelings being here as a representative of what we could call radical cinema. Mm -hmm. uh, watching your, your movie, I thought about uh, Fassbinder's Karel or the cinema of John Cassavetes. Um, I'd just like to know what, what you feel being here uh, representing this like strain of uh, radical cinema, which is trying to open Mm. Uh, the language to, yes, I am to more new focused. experiences. I, I am not so focused in the past, in the ideas of representing any kind of tradition of the past. You know, I am really focused and concentrated on creating the future. You know, I'm thinking what are the specificity of cinema images and in which aspect these images can be richer and more interesting than all the other images we have nowadays, like, you know, platforms, TV series or internet or whatever. So then I think that there is a, a space for a physical, new, more complex, more disturbing images. And uh, this space is properly cinema because you have the best conditions at the level and the physical, the impact, the emotional impact, not simple impact, you know, not the super dramaturgic or controlled impact, but the, the possibility of, you know, having these images in the future, how can they evolve and where they can, you know, uh, where they can yeah, put us, you know, I don't know. It's a, and it's a, it's a research somehow, uh, uh, constantly, and it's, it's a little bit risky. It's a somehow audacious, it's true, and, and I'm not especially proud of being, uh, having audacity just because for audacity, but it's because it gives something concrete at the end, and the end yeah, is the film, no? and the film answer some of these uh, questions of the images nowadays, also, also the, 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 the place of these images in our world. So, yeah, just thinking the future, just make, trying to make something more original every time. And more, uh, yeah, more original, simply. La présence aussi des militaires, elle est très originale. The presence of the military is very uh, original in the film. Oui. Yes, it's a bit unkind. No, it's a fantasy, though. Un militaire qui contrôle une flotte. Admiral, who is the captain? Un admiral. Un admiral qui contrôle une flotte. 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 I don't know. This obsession he has, this the girls, the music. It's crazy. But I love this kind of situation. And the film is... Bigger than life. We have quite a lot of information about the characters. There are hardly any scenes where he isn't uh, there. But uh, what we try to do is share what he has in his mind, his thoughts, particularly in the last part of the film. You have reality, but, uh, and you have the what's really happening in the world and then what goes through his mind. What's really good also is that none of the characters in the film ever feel discouraged. They don't all have the whole set of information. They have the impression they see certain things, but they never feel discouraged. Although there's this impending warning and danger. Is that important? None of you, none of your characters really feel discouraged. They always feel that they can ask for something, forge ahead in life. You might uh, tell us a bit about this in terms of your character. You, he's very courageous. Courage is very important. 
pour une nation, pour une personne. For a nation and for a person. Mais en même temps, il n'y a, a pas de courage. At the same time, sans peur. Uh, courage goes euh, hand in hand with fear. Il fallait, bien sûr. Obviously. Alors, le point de vue que j'ai, moi. My viewpoint. Et la chose qui, qui m'exaspère un peu And what exasperates me a bit uh, in uh, uh, my country is that we tend to view ourselves as victims. Of course, what happened, the nuclear testing is very serious. And the state uh, has to take responsibility for all this. But we also have to shoulder our own responsibilities in a way. Donc, we agreed to all this. Pour aller de so we have to shoulder our responsibilities and try to be courageous and uh, admit to our mistakes. Otherwise, we're not going to move forward in life. If you act like a victim, you're never going to move forward. We talk a lot. And that's the kind of thing that bothers me. It's justified to talk about all these things, but uh, you really have to take action at a given point in time. What about your character, Benoit? He's always taking notes, uh, even if he's a bit paranoid at given points in time. He has this sort of fear of existing because uh, the character has very strong feelings in his inner self. But he's quite active. When something needs to be done, he, he goes and does it. He he is concerned with other people, but he acts a bit like a monarch, like a king, who's coming to see his uh, the people, his subjects. He tries to settle disputes amongst neighbors, even if they're very minor disputes. And he enjoys this, playing this part. When he raises his eyes to the uh, sky, uh, that's a moving scene. I think that the people are very warm. They're very likable. And I found it difficult to understand why they weren't more angry at the situation. That's why I talked a lot with Matahi. His uh, viewpoints really helped me, no end. There's something really surprising there. Of course, the quality of life is extraordinary. There's such an abundance of things that you just tend to let yourself uh, go and, and, and become lazy. The character is very calm. He's very pleasant. He's never are aggressive, even when they make demands, they're very gentle. Gémir n'est pas de mise pour Marquise. I don't like people who are always complaining. Uh, when you're courageous, it spurs you to do many wonderful things. And, uh, it adds drama to the film, these moments. I'd like to ask another question. You talked about what happens with the accident. Is it because of these little accidents that the film turned into what it is? And I also want to put a question to Matai. Do you think this film will be watched by a lot of people in movie theaters in Tahiti? Hard to answer the question. We had 540 hours of rushes. Lots of things disappeared. There were lots of accidents that occurred. But uh, perhaps uh, this served the, the film in the end. We had all these rushes, uh, um, and now we have the final version, which is what really counts. The rest, uh, well, maybe there are certain things which could have remained in the film and fleshed it out more, but I think uh, that basically the, the film is the way it is. Of course, there was a lockdown. We were able to shoot the film. That made the film look a bit unnatural, perhaps. Uh, the country was all for us. There was hardly anyone in the streets or in the landscapes. That's why there wasn't much atmosphere, perhaps. However, that uh, fitted in with the idea of the film. I don't like things to be too real. So I think that uh, the situation uh, 
fitted in beautifully with the film as a kind of a fantasy. If you depict reality, well, that's something you see every day. So the film had to be much more intense. It was kind of funny. There were all these political discussions before the takes, and then the discussions continued when we were filming. Sometimes the actors had to be a bit aggressive towards each other, but uh, uh, one of them would then say, no, I'm never like that in, in life. Uh, but these scenes turned out really well. You had these different positions. Matthew, would you add something? Oui, moi, je trouve que le film... Non, tu veux ajouter quelque chose Non, la, 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 la question sur le film qu'il y a, qui sont très américains et beaucoup de... Ah oui, oui, ouais. chez nous, on est très axé américain, très admirable We're, du système américain. Nous admirons les voitures américaines, du cinéma américain. Nous aimons les voitures américaines, Hollywood, films, Spider-Man, et toutes ces choses. Donc, ce genre de film artistique, c'est un peu... Donc, ce genre de film film est manqué, c'est sadly lacking. Vous envoyez... On est, euh, disons que le système euh, politique, the political social and social par, euh, systems par uh, are, have largely been dictated by the church. The Catholic and the Protestant churches are very present, always have something to say. In terms of what the population should have access to, like a, a casino or a nightclub or a song or a film, and the churches are, are very much involved, and uh, I think that's held us back. La conférence de presse donc s'achève. Well, this brings us to the end of the press conference. Thank you very much. Thank you.